Suspects leave a man to die after a deadly hit and run on Milwaukee's near north side. Police are still looking for the people who ran from the scene. Lauren Winfrey has the latest. Crews have been working this scene that neighbors describe as a deadly hit and run for hours. And besides the horror of waking up to something like this, I spoke with a woman who says she's more concerned with the everyday reckless driving that happens here all the time. Oh, just, the tire screeching, then a boom. That boom is the very sound that Calvin Jean says made him jump out of bed. I can stop from back where my house is and be like, somebody got to be dead down there. You know, like, it don't look like it ended real good. Police confirmed the 41 year old driver of this white truck died at the hospital and the 31 year old woman he was with is now in critical condition. The crash happened just before 4 a.m. near 17th and Highland, about a block away from where Jeans lives. Jean says as a father, dangerous driving in his neighborhood is a top concern. And Asia Vance, a mother, echoed those sentiments. The driving is like really crazy out here. It's just people just Got a lot of road rage going on. Witnesses who didn't want to be identified describe this as a hit and run crash. They say they saw two young men jump out of the silver pickup truck and take off running. And our cameras were rolling early this morning when a woman in handcuffs was taken away on a stretcher. Van says the reckless driving in her neighborhood has forced her and her baby girl to stay indoors. I do feel hopeless because it's, it's all over. It's not just here, it's, it's everywhere. And police say they're still actively investigating. Reporting near 17th and Highland, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4.